What's up guys, it's me, AG, and today we have finally arrived here in the beautiful city of Venice. But before we get into it, i just like to throw it back to yesterday, just because when we arrived at the dead of night around 10.30 yesterday, Venice was just shrouded in the most beautiful and like mysterious fog. So i just like to share that with you guys, so have a look. Barcelona was unreal. Venice just hits different, my goodness. So guys, here we are on the set of Spider-Man Far From Home. We finally made it, it's cold, it's dark, but you know what, we're here. It's Venice time, baby. So it's like 11.30 right now, and here we are, we find ourselves in a kebab slash pizza shop. We all know this isn't the greatest, but sustenance is the goal for tonight when nothing else is open. Not bad. So we've got a shrimp kebab. I don't know what meat's in it, but I'm so hungry that this just looks so good. This is what we need right now. Warm as well. I mean, you know, it's a kebab. Can't go wrong. Provides what you need. And on a cold, um, cold night, that's what you get. I don't know about you, but I don't think we could have chosen a more perfect time to arrive at Venice. Like the fog just adds like such a magical quality. I mean, look at this place. Look at it, in Venice. Oh my goodness. So while we're walking during this like dark night and like the starry lights, it honestly feels like a movie set. Like it doesn't feel real. Like, well, it feels just magical. Uh, we're just gonna head back to the hotel now and get some sleep because we're probably gonna have an early day tomorrow. So we'll see you guys at back at the hotel. So fast forward today, it is a pretty cold day. We're just gonna head over to the Piazza San Marco, which is like the, you know, the main touristy area. I'm super excited to explore this beautiful city, so let's go. Guys, would you look at that? Look at this! We are here at the Palazzo San Marco, long the political and religious center of Venice. For those of you who didn't know, Venice was once one of the most powerful city-states in the world. It was called the Republic of Venice. It was one of the foremost maritime and trading powers in the Mediterranean, and this was the center of it all. My goodness, it is so beautiful. You know, not gonna lie, I'm a pretty big sucker for foggy weather. High key, a very underweighted, like, weather pattern like yeah you know clear skies sunny days are all right but look at this it gives it an almost like souls born zian quality to it this is the stuff that's even like dark souls man look at the tower over there it's like oh it's almost mythical it's so mythical magical it's like, it's like you're in a movie set oh my goodness Also, after your visit to the Piazza San Marco, I highly recommend just going out to the waterfront, turn left, and just walk. Just walk straight as far as you can because it's so much more quiet here. Like, there's li literally barely any people. Um, it's 
so peaceful. There's like a much, much more local vibe. I think the place that we're gonna have lunch is also around here. So I'm pretty hungry. Let's eat. made it to lunch and we made it to this place called Trattoria alla Rampa. It's all the way on the eastern side of Venice so you had to walk quite a bit to get here and when we went in it was so bustling with locals. It's almost as if you're eating in a, in a literal hole in the wall with the sound of all the locals chattering and talking. What an amazing atmosphere. We got a, like a few pasta dishes and a fish dish. Hopefully there'll be pretty good Venetian food. We cannot wait. First proper meal in Venice. Let's eat. Wow, if every Italian restaurant has like Parmesan on the side for free, this amount of Parmesan, I'm already a fan of the Lidi. Oh, so nice. Is it actually a Super sound cute. So first cappuccino here in Italy. The foam was absolutely insane. Mm, very nice. So first dish is the spaghetti allo scoglio. I think it's a seafood, um, it's a seafood spaghetti. Let's taste. Oh, wow. wow. That, that is deceivingly flavorful. Like the oils in this pasta are so nice. It's like it's got the slightest seafoodiness, but the, just enough to make it exciting. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's just clams. I don't know if there's calamari in here, but it's so nice. I think it's like overloaded with garlic as well. I'm a huge garlic fan. Nothing to die for pasta. Okay, next up, liver. I'm not a liver fan, but I ordered it anyway because it's like a house specialty. It's cooked. It's got like pine nuts, onions, like a, it's in an oil, so it's safe. Mm. Mm. That's not bad. It doesn't have like too much of that irony, like irony in this that most liver has, which I don't really like. This is not bad. Mm. Mm. I think it also comes with like some little polenta cakes. Mm. Smooth yet grainy. I love polenta, so you know it's it's really good. Next dish is the bacala con mantecato. I think it's like cod on like it's like pulverized cod with cream on top of a bed of polenta. Wow. Super creamy. Like the creaminess of the polenta and the creaminess of the cod. It's like a creaminess overload. Oh. And the cod flavor is excellent. Oh my goodness. What a first meal. So last dish is their spaghetti con nero di seppia. It is a seafood pasta with black, it's, I think it's squid ink. I don't know, octopus or squid, one of those. But, oh look at it. It looks so menacing, I, but I'm sure it's gonna be so delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, so nice. Like, <laughs> like the flavor is not as intense as it looks, but it's like a really nice light flavored pasta. I'd get it for the aesthetics alone. You know where this pasta belongs? Dark Souls. It's got little bits of peppers in it. Squid is a really nice addition. As is holy tradition, what a way to start a Venice experience. I cannot wait for the next meal. Let's get going. Okay, that was an amazing first meal at Trattoria alla Rampa. So, what was your uh, favorite dish there, huh? Hmm, I mean, what is that red pasta called? Uh, I think it's the spaghetti al scoglio. Yeah, that one was, that was really yeah, that was good. good. That was surprising. I think my favorite one was the the cod. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah, as you can see from like even from Spain, I'm quite a fan of cod. So you know, no surprise there. Whatever dish you choose, it's gonna be amazing. Amazing first meal in Venice. Yeah, vibe city.
You know what you look like? <laughs> like, like what? A character from... No, no, no. Like, remember in the Spongebob movie when they had like all the chum bucket buckets? <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a goofy goober, yeah. So, loser, how's Venice so far? It's very nice. Very peaceful. Quite beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> on just how expensive everything is here in Venice. Also in Italy, they do like to charge a cover cover charge when you just sit down on the restaurant. Like it's, it's like a service charge, but the food here in Venice, like lunch was pretty expensive. Um, more expensive than anything we've ever had in Barcelona. So I think we're just gonna go on a budget for dinner. So we ended up in this place called Friedland. I mean, if it's called Friedland, it has to be good, right? And it's pretty cheap. I think they're most expensive Pastas are either like 7 or 8 euros, which is really reasonable. They also make everything fresh. It literally says at the door, cook now, eat now, I think. So hopefully it turns out to be delicious. So we went back to the hotel. There wasn't really much space for us there. It's, it's literally just standing only. There's like a tiny bench out front, but you know, there's not enough space. So we went back to the hotel. Got a bit of a spread here. Got a bit of a gar- There's like a garbage plate spread and a packet if you will. We got their frito de mare, which is like a mix of fried stuff. There's little fish, little prawns, calamari. The calamari e gamberi fritti, which is just calamari and prawns. So, I'll, you know, if you go to Friedland, you gotta get the fried stuff. And moving on to the pasta, we got this, uh, the black squid ink pasta that we got a while ago. This is their pasta al nero di sepia. It comes with cuttlefish. It's, it's, it's black as my soul. I have no soul. <laughs> Next up is the spaghetti al frutti di mare, which comes with shellfish, crayfish, in a tomato sauce. And lastly, spaghetti alla matriciana, traditionally from Rome, but you know, we wanted to try it before we go there. Um, I think it's got pecorino cheese, he drizzled some, and some pig cheek, I think, and it's in a thick tomatoey sauce. So let's dig into all of these. Firstly, squeeze the lemon, pour the juice. Okay, there we go. I mean, you know, lemon and fried stuff is the ultimate combination. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, you know, what? I'm just gonna get one of everything, one, what, one squid, one prawn, and one fish. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 I mean, it's fried, it's fried seafood. You can't go wrong. You have to be an extra special bad chef for you to get the show, and you know, it never disappoints. Really good. So first pasta I'm gonna taste is their pasta al nero di sepia. It's the black squid ink pasta. We had this a while ago at um, Trattoria, Trattoria alla Rampa, so let's compare. Firstly, all pastas use like way thicker spaghetti. I think it's called spaghettone, I think. But let's taste. Mmm, oh yeah, that's good. It's like, it's got like the slightest hint of acidity somewhere. I don't put lemon, but like it's, it's there. That's really comforting. Cuttlefish as well, the little tiny cuttlefish pieces. Beautiful. I mean, you can't really compare to the one we had a while ago. The one a while ago was a bit more refined. This is like six euros, so you can't really compare. This is still really comforting, really good stuff. Next up, spaghetti al amatriciana. Traditionally a, a Roman style pasta. So let's get every element into one bite. Oh yeah, that looks good. Mm. Mm -mm. That pig cheek is pretty flavorful and tender. The pecorino adds a really nice nuttiness and like, you know, the acidity from the tomatoes, the nuttiness from the cheese, and the fattiness from the pork. It's all a pretty good combination. So lastly is their spaghetti al frutti de mare. This comes with um, crayfish, a variety of shellfish, and a tomato sauce. Again, thick, thick pasta. Let's get everything in there. Oh. Mm. Mm. You know, it's seafoody. It's got that briny taste going on. All the little seafood bits and meats, very nice to chew on. It's a pretty comforting pasta. 
if you think about it, all of this is 31 euros, which is literally like half the pr even less than half the price of what we paid for at Trattoria alla Rampa. I mean, Trattoria alla Rampa was amazing, but you know, if you're looking for a comforting, cheap meal, if you're not really too fussed about eating the most authentic Venetian food, then you know, Friedland is your spot. You know, with a name like Friedland, it's not gonna disappoint. There's only one guy working, you know, he's, he's going hard at work, frying all the stuff, cooking all the pasta, he's, do he's, do he's doing it all. You know, so hit up Friedland if you want a pretty cheap and value meal. On to the next spot. All right, that'll do for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed our day. Venice is off to a great start, and it's not only a feast for the eyes, but also our stomachs. We loved all the delicious pastas and Venetian food that we ate today, especially that spaghetti allo scoglio from Trattoria alla Rampa. That was definitely the highlight. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to say hi to us down in the comments below. We'll really appreciate it. Or check us a cheeky DM on Instagram. And tune in next week for Venice Part 2. I'm sure it'll be fun. See you on the next one. Then check this out.